The next property I'm going to show you the water is we're going to go over here and we're going to test these waters for uh, the pH of the water. So pH stands for potential hydrogen and we have a little chart here where I'm going to show you and we're going to put a few drops in these waters and we're going to show whether they are on the acidic side or the alkaline side. And we'll just put a couple of drops in each one of them. We have a nice little pretty colorful display today, right? And we'll kind of stir these up real quick so you can get a better look and then I'll show each one of them. Oh, let's clean that off. Oh, let's clean it off each time. Okay. So let's go start here with the Dasani water and we'll, we'll use this pH chart here and show. So the Dasani is what? On the acidic side, right? How about the Aquafina? Also acidic. How about the smart water? A little better, but still acidic, right? How about the Arrowhead Sparkling? Very acidic. How about the Alive Water? That's why I call it Dead Water now. How about the Gatorade? Also very acidic. And how about the Seven Up? Bet you didn't know you were drinking so many acidic things, did you? No. How about tap water? It's neutral. So right around neutral, right? So tap water is always going to be neutral to slightly alkaline because it's federally regulated by the government. So besides, you know, the chlorine, the fluorides, they put lye in the water, which is a pH of 14, very alkaline, to raise the pH of our city water, the tap water, because if it were acidic, it would rust the pipes. So I don't think they're concerned about our pipes, they're concerned about the city pipes. So that's why it's always going to be in that range. So let's move on to the Kangen water. Now here's the star of the show. What is the Kangen water? Wow. Very alkaline, right? So with a touch of a button, we can change the alkalinity and this one is 9.5 pH. So we all know that we should be slightly alkaline, right? Our body, because we're over 75% water. Unfortunately, look what we're drinking today and the foods we're eating and the air we're breathing. And so when you drink this water on a regular basis, just think about your bodily fluids, right? Now watch what happens. What did we just do? Just with a little of the water, we neutralize that and raise the pH of the water. We'll go to the Aquafina. Notice. What, well, how about the smart water? Oh, wow. Notice I'm just putting in a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine when you're drinking this on a regular basis, what happened to the arrowhead water? Oh, it was struggling and then it went right back to acidity. Mm -hmm. That's because it's very acidic. Mm -hmm. Notice the alive water? Mm -hmm. No change. How about the Gatorade? Oh, also no change. Mm -hmm. How about the 7-Up? Oh, no so, now we'll go over to the tap water. Notice it changed pretty easily, right? Mm -hmm. So now when you're drinking this water on a regular basis, that's what's going to help your body to do to balance your pH. Now, I'm going to take the 7-Up here. Now it's already diluted, right? Watch what happens. Now think about you're drinking this on a regular basis. Watch what happens when we just add a little bit of that. Wow. Notice it takes it right back to an acidic state just with a few drops. If you're drinking these things, ladies, and th these are all pretty much in the same range, watch the kangen water. Wow. We just destroyed the kangen water with a little bit of diluted soda. If you're drinking sodas, this is right around the pH of about 2.5, which makes it about 50,000 times more acidic if you were starting over here at the neutral point. So that's how acidic it is. And I'm just going to show you real quick. This came from Wellness Magazine. And if you, it says, what does it show the equivalent of soda is? Battery acid. It shows soda equals battery. Your battery in your car, the acid level of the battery in your car equivalent to soda. So imagine, if we want to stay on the alkaline side, you definitely don't want to drink anything like this, right? So as you can see now, that's the second property of the water that makes Kangen water so very special and why you want to be hydrating your body on a regular basis.